Okay guys, this is a Skywalker coffee roaster, sometimes it's called the iTop, and the earliest versions of this machine had a problem where if it got too hot it could catch on fire, and they implemented a, like an overheat switch inside there, near the heating element, if it got too hot, it would, uh, it's sort of like a fuse but it resets itself so it would pop and then it once it cooled down it would reset itself and you could start it up again because uh, some people were having problems when they put it over 80 percent and they have a long roast going say multiple roasts in a row then it would get overheated so I'm gonna take this one apart this one is a 2024 version and we'll see if it has the updates on it. So I'll show you how to take it apart. We can take this front cover off first. Right here. It's got these little Phillips head screws. Okay, I got those four screws out. So I'm going to take this metal cover off, just like that. Next, we're going to take there's uh, some Phillips screws around the edges. I'm going to take those out. And there's also Allen key screws in different locations. There's six of them, and four of those other. Phillips head screws. I'm going to take those out. Okay, I got all the screws loosened. Little Allen head screws, the Phillips screws out. This will come out the uh, chute. Out of there, see? And you just make sure you uh, just turn this the uh, door latch. Undo that. And that'll come off. Okay, so there's your heater. There should be enough room on these wires. You should be able to pull that out a little bit. And you might drop some of your screws. But next, what we're gonna do, get that out of here. So the next thing we're gonna do, is I'm gonna take out these little screws here. Not sure if you need to take these too, but uh, we're going to take these screws out and behind this metal plate, between the plastic and the metal plate, there should be a thermal fuse if this one has the update on it. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so uh, when you're taking out the screws, take out this one right here, take out this one here, and this far one. Don't take this one out because it doesn't screw in it. It holds your temperature sensor in. I started loosening it, but I didn't really need to take it out to get this plate off. And what it's going to do, let's see your heater element right behind here. Let's see if I can get this in a good spot. So here's what it'll look like if you don't have the safety on it. So. Uh, right in here would be the uh, safety if it had it on there. Just be careful you don't break your bulb. There's a quartz bulb in here. That's your heater element inside that little cage. Which is surprising to me because I thought for sure this was going to have that safety built into it. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you don't have the thermal fuse. The thermal fuse would be right about here. Of the, this hole here uh, you shouldn't even have to take it apart this far you'll see if you take it apart right here will be two screws holding the thermal fuse on so then you know you have it 
if you don't have it some people have taken that box out of the back and putting a fan on it or drilled holes here and put the fan on there not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do some more research onto it Okay, got them two screws out. And this, I know somebody posted a video of this. But here's the, uh, I think they called it a thyristor. This metal here with the heat sink on it. This, some kind of electronic component. Not sure, right there, the black part. And then this is the heat sink for it. So that's what's getting hot, they're saying. So...